what is currently really around the corner, this is the implementation of Solvency 2. So we go uh, uh, um, ahead on the first first uh, of 2016. So everybody, industry and supervisors alike, uh, currently think about how to implement Solvency 2, what still needs to be done. But there are also some other uh, things in regulation that needs to be yeah, uh, taken care of, which is the International Capital Standard, for example, where the comparability of capital needs between companies, wherever they are uh, having the headquarters, uh, is in the key focus. It's also for the uh, globally systemically important insurers, it's about recovery and resolution plans. And we also have something on the conduct and consumer protection side, which is product oversight and governance. Uh, uh, this is um, yeah, demanding a bit of a shift in attitude within the companies. You have to put yourself into the shoes of the consumer and to, to assess uh, whether your product would be detrimental to consumers and whether your product is suitable uh, for the policyholder, it's fair, uh, it provides the information that is needed. Uh, and uh, last but not least, it's about a preventive and a risk-based uh, conduct regulation and supervision. So those are the five key issues for uh, regulatory uh, implementation in the, yeah, in the future, in the next couple of years. Uh, obviously, uh, solvency is one of the biggest ones uh, for, for two reasons. Uh, the first reason is that it's a very comprehensive change because it, it's attached to um, all the life of the undertakings, uh, starting from the uh, um, regulatory reports, but also the governance and the way they are organized and how they, they make their decision. And the second reason is that it's very uh, close now. Um, uh, the deadline is, is quite short and there are many things still to be done. So uh, for me, it is the same as in every company when you have to deal with change, so change management. It's always difficult to, to move uh, people to something that uh, was not there before. So you need to do a lot of explanations, uh, you need also to provide a specific training uh, and you also need to give a bit of a push uh, so that uh, the new approach is also embraced and, and, and put into practice. One of the, the biggest challenges that the implementation phase was very short, taking into account that parts of Solvency 2 were not stabilised when there was an agreement on the date of the entry into force of Solvency 2. So um, the difficulty is to um, to handle all these changes at the same time in a very short period of time. And since uh, Solvency 2 covers a, a lot of fields and a lot of uh, functions of the uh, undertaking, um, the industry has to make sure that they are working obviously quite hard, but that uh, all the changes that they, they, they implement are well connected and they are beneficial in their decision-making process. So they don't only have to do uh, the changes, but they are also to monitor the changes and make sure that they are uh, useful. Because you don't uh, do a regulatory change for the regulatory change. You do a regulatory change uh, to uh, make better decisions. And it's very important because we are now in the in a stress situation. So at the moment it's all about Solvency 2 and it's in particular the, imp uh, the approval of internal models. Well, Obviously, the uh, environment, um, the economic environment, the, the, the financial environment, is quite challenging. Um, so um, they, 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 they try to focus on um, using, and that's very important, using the new tools that Solvency 2 provides uh, uh, them with um, to uh, make better decision. And the decision that they have to make may be of, um, of change in business model change in the way they are doing things because uh, the way they were doing things in a different environment may uh, not work uh, now in this um, very challenging environment. So it's, it's really about uh, thinking about what would be the uh, future of the insurance in uh, the context of, of, of this economic environment.